I am a general cardiologist and my areas of interest are women's cardiovascular medicine and preventative cardiovascular medicine. From a cardiovascular standpoint, women are a little bit different than men. Women tend to lay plaque down in the coronary arteries in a more smooth fashion as opposed to being kind of clumpy, lumpy, and that makes it a little challenging to make a diagnosis for women many times. About 20,000 more women every year than men die of heart disease, and women don't tend to do quite as well after having a cardiac event. So they tend to have more congestive heart failure. The risk to a woman is high and their recognition is often delayed because they don't recognize their symptoms and sometimes their symptoms are unique or a bit atypical so they're not recognized by even the health professional. About 50% of women will have the typical presentation of what we call angina, which is inadequate blood flow to meet the heart's needs. And that's a heaviness or pressure under the breastbone that radiates into the neck or jaw or into the back, perhaps down the arm. But about 50% of women will not present with that at all. They may present with some fatigue or shortness of breath. They may be a little nauseated. They may be a little dizzy and they just may have slowed down in their activities. I do think that a big risk factor for many people is the level of stress. We have very chronic stress, which has very negative impact on our cardiovascular system and the way that we deal with risk factors and bad habits. Because when we're very stressed, we tend to turn to things that are not very healthy for us. I think that if you're not feeling well, you're not able to do the activities you would like to do, it's time to check in with your doctor. And it's simple measures to begin action. I think everyone should be active, which means just doing a little bit of walking. We like to have people walk 30 to 40 minutes a day, or dance, or swim, or garden. The things that you enjoy that are going to keep you active is a very important part of heart health.